The store's doing weird things to the power supply, that's all. But I don't like it! I'm scared! I'm no. scared, Dr. Brady! Fleur, 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 Fleur. Fear is all in the mind. You should be more like me. I'm not afraid of anything. Few titles. Today, dog's body. Uh, well, viewers, on today's show we have a ghostly bit of this, a ghoulish bit of this, and a spooky bit of the other. Uh, now, come on, dog's body, stop messing about. You are very scary, ha ha. I am a ghost. Boy, I must have been more convincing than I thought. Hey, Flurry, relax. It's only me fooling around. Like I told you, there's no such thing as. <coughs> oh dear, I do wish folk wouldn't do that. It's so depressing. It really dampens the spirits. Dampens the spirits, get it? Oh, well, never mind. Here's a tune, whatever that is. Thanks for introducing the cartoon back then. I don't know what came over me. I didn't introduce any cartoon. I thought you did it. Well, if you didn't do it and I didn't do it, who did it? I'm afraid it was me. <laughs> oh, honestly, not again. <clears throat> You're a, 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 a... Yes, a ghost. I could pretend that I wasn't, but you'd see right through that. See right through that. Oh, never mind. I've never seen a ghost before. I suppose you were expecting a horrible, ugly creature with hideous features. Yes! And we weren't disappointed. Young dog's body, I am your ancestor, William Shaketail, the Bark of Avon, the world-famous actor. You must have heard of me. Mm, no. no. I appeared in those classic plays, Bonio and Druliet, Much a Doggy Do About Nothing, and Hamlet, the Great Dane. Sorry, still not heard of you. Mm. Oh, I'd better fill you in on my story then. Ah, uh, well, listen, we'd love to hear it, but running a little Mine is a sad mm. tale. Now I see. I met a tragic end. What do you do, bore himself to death? No, actually, I lost my head over a woman. Hmm? Yes. How's that for a dog's body? Really? Now, to introduce the film, or not to introduce the film, that is the question. Ah! All the world's a stage, and we... Who would have thought having a ghost would be so boring? Look, excuse me, but we have a show to run, so if you wouldn't mind... Ah, there you are. I was telling you about my tragic love story. She was an actress, you know. Oh, brother. Never mind, could be worse. How could it possibly be worse? Bill, is that you? Me and my big mouth. She looks just like me! Oh, darling, there you are. Oh, dog's body floor. Meet Ellen Terrier, my late wife. I'm not that late. Oh, well, I was just saying how I lost my head over you. No, don't do... Uh, but... <laughs> oh, he does this all the time. Dropped it in a pumpkin field one Halloween. Took us weeks to find it. I'm over here. Oh, really, you should clean more often. There's so much fluff down here. I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to... Uh, 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 chew! <laughs> <coughs> I can't deal with this. I'm going to critterize. <laughs> okay, Flory, what's my challenge this week? Your creature to critterize this week is that cool customer, the Puffin. Puffins spend most of their time in the chilly northern seas. Their excellent swimming ability makes them great fishermen, which is a good job, really, because there isn't much else to eat around here. 
this up for anyone? Hmm. Pretty amazing critter, the puffin. Take that beak. Pretty huge thing for such a little bird, don't you think? But that beak has wavy edges, top and bottom. Why? Well, they help the puffin to carry rows of fish like sardines in a tin. Like I say, amazing. The puffin also uses his beak to help dig burrows. Yes, I said burrows. No nest for this bird. So, huge beak, but then these little bitty stubby wings. They make flying hard work. On the other hand, they make great flippers when the puffin swims, which is a lot. Get those feet too, big and orange. They stand out. That's why Puffy and his friends use their feet to signal each other. Now, one more thing. A big, pointy hat. Because my cartoon Puffin is going to be a bit of a witch. In the nicest possible way. So, let's see what my Critterizer can do. Abracadabra! I've had an idea. We could do the first live TV interview with a ghost. He's a natural. After all, he was the world's greatest actor. Oh, is that what he told you? Your dearest. Mm, Third-rate comic, that's what he was. Um, Bottom of the bill, Bill, they oh. call him. You mean he's not the Bark of Avon? Bark of Avon, more like. Then why did you marry him? I was young. I was in love. I was stupid. He promised to make me the finest actress of my generation. Instead, I ended up as the assistant to the king of the knock-knock jokes. I was the best. Knock-knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Ha-ha. You see, means nothing. I was ahead of my time. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Head of my... Oh, never mind. We were rubbish. How can you say that? We appeared on a stage in front of Queen Elizabeth herself. We only when they chopped our heads off. Still a booking? <laughs> We'd only been married a week. There was I, head over heels one minute, head in a basket the next. Oh, if only I'd done my juggling act. Watch this. Oh, oh no. No, not the... Did you want to put these clowns on the air? It'll work, trust me. Show Pingu. I'm going to call the media. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just lost our heads. Ha <laughs> ha! Good grief! It's the big time, Bill. We've sold this interview globally. Every satellite and cable channel in every country in the world is going to be tuning in in one minute. It's TV first. It's the media event of the millennium. Oh, sounds exciting. <laughs> Who's on? You are stupid. Oh, my big break after all these years. Are you absolutely certain you don't want to appear as well? Positive. Now, listen, I think I ought to warn you. Oh, there's no time now. We're going live in half a minute. Yes, but it's about him. He gets nervous. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. In front of big crowds. I'll be fine, really. You'll be fine. Really? And when he gets nervous, he has a funny reaction. And going live, if you see what I mean, in ten, <clears throat> nine... Oh, don't say I didn't warn you. How many people did you say will be watching this? About 25 million. Five, four, three... <clears throat> Welcome to Fleur's Ghost Special. I bring you the dead live on TV. Here is my otherworldly special guest, William Shaketail. Say hello, Shaky. OK, then. Um, William Shaketail has prepared a speech from one of his classic plays, which will be formed for you now. <laughs> do the juggling, do the juggling. You love the juggling, ladies and gentlemen. No! Oh. Where are you going? Now come back! Sorry, it's a nervous thing. I always got terrible stage fright. Don't just stand there. We're in a film. Shame he was a ghost, you know. Why? Because as long as he's a ghost, I can't kill him! Huh. Well, just goes to show when it comes to television, ghosts are a dead loss. 
you and your ancestors are so alike. Oh, you mean the fine figure, the noble profile, the lovely voice? No, the useless jokes. <laughs> Ouch. See you next week. Bye. Next week on Cartoon Critters, Tom gets into a spin over a lady. And we find out how animals decide who gets the girl. And are cuckoos really cuckoo? Find out the truth behind the tune next time. Until then, why not visit our website at www.bbc.co.uk.